Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to be going over how to model standard air source heat pumps in HOT 2000. So these are not cold climate. Um, if you want to learn how to do that, please check out the video here. And essentially we're just going to be going over a couple websites that we're going to check to find the information. So this would be the NEEP database, the HRI directory, and Enercan's product list. Those are all the websites I use. And then we're going to be doing some Googling to find the temperature cutoff data and then we'll be entering into hot 2000 and we will also be going over how to model a heat pump if you can't find any information about it online so if it's a really old model um, and you can't find any info we'll just go over how to use the defaults as well so let's jump into it so this is the neep website so you always want to check this one first because if it's on this website it's going to be considered a cold climate heat pump and you're going to model it differently um, but basically you just come here search your model number if you already have the hri number you can just put that in Search the list, and then here you can see we've got four options for this particular heat pump. If you search for your heat pump and it doesn't show up on this list at all, then it's not cold climate. Then we would move on to the AHRI directory. So on this website, you just want to search by model number. If you already have the AHRI number, that's great, just put it in. Um, we're going to search for the same one here. Click search. And you can see we get four. Um, possibilities and we've got two that are discontinued these could just be older units if you're doing a d file but basically you just want to look for the outdoor model number in this case we don't have an extra letter at the end so we're not going to use the asterisks but what we want to do is just to check the first one hit select check the indoor model number to see if it's right and check the type to make sure that that makes sense as well if it does we would click here and download the pdf and use that to get our specs if it's not the right indoor unit model here, um, don't hit back because that'll take you right off the AHRI website. Um, and then you just hit search again. And then we would select our second one. And hopefully that is our indoor model number. And that's the right type of configuration. If not, then basically you can't find it like this. You're going to have to Google it or come to our third website. And the nice thing about the Enercan one on their searchable product list, you scroll all the way down to heating, cooling, ventilation. We've got multiple heat pump options, but we're just going to be talking about air source. The easiest way to find them is to use the heat pumps air source split system, models available in Canada. So I would just use that one. So this applies to both mini splits and ducted systems. And the nice thing about searching on this website is we can search outside model, inside model. If it's ducted and you have the furnace, you can search that as well and you can limit it by brand. But in our case, we're just gonna search this one, go down, hit search, and then you can see here that we have an additional letter or slash number here with the asterisk, so neither of these are ours, and I believe that the Enercan list, um, this is for active units only, that's why the other ones aren't coming up. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll just go back here, let's pretend that this was how we searched it, and we got the info we were looking for, just download the PDF, Save it in your folder. And we'll take a quick look at it. So you can see here we get the HRI number, which we'll enter into HOT2000. We've got our brand name, our outdoor, our indoor. And then we've also got the sear right there. Our heating capacity right there at 47 degrees Fahrenheit is what you're looking for. And our HSPF is in region 4 of 10.3. So we're going to need to convert that into region 5 for Canada. And to do that, it's just 10.3 divided by 1.15. So to switch from region 4 to region 5, just always divide by 1.15. And if we found it on this website, let's say, we'd click here. And it's going to give us all of the info we need. HRI number, we get our SEER, we get our HSPF in region 5 and region 4. And we also get our heating capacity. So with this one, um, what I do is I just highlight all of this, right click, print it to PDF and save it that way. Um, you can also, if we go back, it's gonna ask us to confirm resubmission, say yes, I guess back to the previous page. And you can actually download the entire list of all the heat pumps that are in this database if you want the Excel sheet, and you can search that way. Um, and now let's get into entering it into HA2000. Okay, so we've got our HOT2000 open, and we just go to our heating and cooling section, air source heat pump, click OK, we come in here, and then we just enter all the info we need, but also we need to set this to heating and cooling. You can see here we've got cooling and heating, 
And this is a mini split system. So we'll switch to mini split duckless. And then you just come in here. We would type out Daikin. And we want the outdoor and indoor model numbers here. And I use a slash in between. And we're going to put in the AHRI number, which is just over here at the top. And then what we're going to do now is you put in the number of heads, um, depending how many there are. In this case, it's one. We're going to have our output capacity set to user specified, and we'll put in 18,000. Okay, so we're just going to put in our HSPF in region 5. So we just go 10.3 divided by 1.15. That gives me 8.956, so I'm going to put in 8.96, just round up, because we only get the two decimal places. The SEER, we don't need to convert, we can just put in as is, 20.2. And then the last thing we want to do is get our temperature cut off, so we're going to switch this from balance point, which is the default to use for ducted systems if you can't find what they're rated down to. Uh, for most mini splits, or I think for all, you're going to switch it to restricted. And then um, the default temperature to use for a mini split cutoff is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So you just restricted at 14. Um, but we're going to do a quick little Google search and see what we can find. So we're just going to go to Google, put in our model number, and then submittal data. And hopefully we get a submittal data sheet for our heat pump. If we do, it'll look something like this. It might be different depending on the brand, but you're looking for heating. And you can see here we've got an operating range between 5 degrees Fahrenheit and 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to put in 5 degrees Fahrenheit as our cutoff temp because we want the lowest temp that it'll operate down to for heating. So we come back here, we'll put in 5. And then we're done. We leave the crankcase heater default. Sensible heat ratio stays default. Openable window area, leave that at 0. And this is not a cold climate heat pump, so we don't check that box and fill out any of the other information. Let's say we have a heat pump where we can't find any of the information. It's really old. You've Googled the model numbers. You looked it up on the HRI website and the Entercam product list as well, and you're coming up with nothing. And the way to model a heat pump with the default values, you have to build the entire house first. You need to have every component in, your air test, all the mechanicals, everything. And then you come to your heating and cooling section, um, put in the unit function as it is, as it needs to be. Put in your central equipment type as what it is, mini split or central split. And then what you do is switch it to 1.25 times cooling load. Then we hit Alt-C or we go to Reports, Calculate. And then we wait for it to calculate. Depending on your computer, this may be faster or slower. For some reason, mine seems to be really slow. Like, really slow. Really, really, really slow. Still waiting. Okay. And then once this is calculated, we can just close this. But what that has done, if we go back to heating and cooling, we go to heat pump, it has set our capacity for us. So if the capacity is lower than 24,000 BTUs, which it is in this case, we would just leave it. If it's higher than 24,000 BTUs, then you drop it down to 24,000 BTUs. And then we just leave the heating efficiency at 5.9, cooling efficiency at 10. And I'm going to switch this to restricted at... 14 degrees. And then we're done. So that's how you enter a default heat pump. So that's how you enter a standard air source heat pump into HOT 2000. So you're just looking to get the capacity, the HSPF, the SEER, the AHRI number, put in the outdoor and indoor model numbers, the brand or the manufacturer, set the unit function to heating and cooling. If it does both, most of them do. And then set the central equipment type to whatever it is. So if it's a mini split, you set it to mini split ductless. If it's a ducted system, it would be central split. And that's pretty much everything. All right, thank you and have yourselves a good one.